she is trapped inside. So what do you say, Serana? Any idea on how to get your mother out of here? Look at this place. I can't imagine choosing to come here. My mother must have been terrified. Mother? Mother! Maker. It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. I'm just here for the Elder Scroll. Glorious. Serana claims you're her guardian, yet your first instinct appears to be greed. I see that my daughter is still as naive as ever. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why I'm here for the Elder Scroll, Valerica. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. And what do you mean by that? When I fled Castle Volgahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. And how does Serana fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. And... Serana underwent this ritual willingly? It was expected of her, just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molig Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. Cold Harbor? It's what some call the domain of Molig Ball. His place in oblivion. And you're saying the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood then? Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying Harkon means to kill Serana? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. Well, then that's why we gotta stop him, and we need that other Elder Scroll to do it. I would never allow that, allow that to happen. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? That's why we need the other Elder Scroll, lady. I'll need your help. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. And Serana's opinion in this is what? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. 
evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Serana believes in me, why won't you? Serana? This stranger aligns herself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to her. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Sorolla. If you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Thank you. Do you still have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. And what do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. We'll return soon. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevere roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. So we got three Boneyard Keepers to kill. Uh, why haven't you pursued the prophecy? Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish, and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. What sort of attention? If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. The order of the day would be our destruction, until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. So you prefer living in the shadows? I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. How did you become imprisoned here? When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. What was the bargain? I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn, and in exchange... I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they crave. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. They tricked you then? The Ideal Masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. You became trapped? Unfortunately, yes. Since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. You've been uh, imprisoned here for all this time, then? Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. 
I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which will give in. And who are these ideal masters? I know very little about them. They're mystic entities that lord over the soul care, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. Do you know what they resemble? Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the soul care. I believe there's more to it than that. How so? I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings, but they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. And the crystals? Conduits, through which the ideal masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. Why would they require sustenance? The ideal master's weakness is their insatiable hunger for pure souls. It's the reason for the soul cairn's existence, and the only leverage a necromancer has when bargaining with them. What do these masters provide in return? The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the ideal masters wind up here as harvested souls. If I leave the soul cairn, can I safely return? As you've been traveling in the soul cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the soul cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. This land's tough and unforgiving. Sounds like a pretty messed up deal with these ideal masters. I mean, just stop providing them with uh, souls. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. That is a definite save. Okay, Serana, what are your thoughts? Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. And how are you feeling after talking to your mother? Relieved, I think. All those things have been building for a while. You have no idea how long I wanted to say that to her. Why did you ever agree to her plan? Look, I loved my father, but when he found that prophecy, that became his life. Everything else, even me and my mother, we just became clutter. I was close with my mother, but she just kept feeding me her opinions of him, and eventually I started believing them. She, uh, doesn't seem too fond of him, that's for sure. The moment we gave ourselves to Molik Ball, things got really icy between them. They were both drunk with power, and pulling in different directions. And then he found that prophecy, and... That was it. And you were caught in the middle, huh? I was. Honestly, it took me up until now to figure out that my mother was really just as bad as he was. <laughs> he was obsessed with power. She was obsessed with seeing him fail. It was just so... toxic. Maybe I could have seen this coming. We could all be better off now. You shouldn't blame yourself. You don't know what it's like, coming from a family like that. Everything eventually tumbles down to you. Anyway, we should keep moving. Alright.